Bursi are small, fluid-filled sacs lined by a serous synovial membrane. The inner layer is capillary rich, producing viscous synovial fluid. They provide a cushion between bones and tendons, or between bones and muscles, mostly found near synovial joints. They help to reduce friction during movements or to cushion bony prominences. Normally, they are not palpable, but when inflamed, they are easy to identify. The subacromial bursa. The subacromial bursa is located just below the acromion. The capsule extends above the humeral head to form a bursa between the humeral head and the overlying acromial process. This is often the site of pathology, resulting in impingement of the shoulder. Subacromial bursitis is a condition caused by inflammation of this bursa. It separates the superior surface of the supraspinatus tendon, one of the four tendons of the rotator cuff, from the overlying coraboacromial ligament, the acromion, the coraboid process, and the deep surface of the deltoid muscle, collectively referred to as the acromial arch. The subacromial bursa helps the motion of the supraspinatus tendon of the rotator cuff in activities such as overhead work. The olecranon bursa. This bursa is located over the extensor aspect of the extreme proximal end of the ulna. In common with other bursae, it is in the normal state invisible and impalpable. Place the arm in a relaxed 90 degree position and feel over the allocranon process. You may repeat this with the elbow in extension as the tissues will become loose and easier to pinch with your fingers. The prepatella bursa. The prepatella bursa is the frontal bursa of the knee joint. It is a superficial bursa with a thin synovial lining located between the skin and the patella. In the supine patient, place a small pillow under the knee to introduce some flexion and with the parts of your fingers, Feel the anterior surface of the patella. The pes anserine bursa. The pes anserinus, or Gus's foot tendon complex, is made up of the tendons of sartorius, gracilis, and semitendinosus. This tendon complex attaches onto the anteromedial surface of the proximal extremity of the tibia. The conjoined tendons lie superficial to the tibial insertion of the medial collateral ligament of the knee. The pesanserine bursa is located between these tendons and the medial collateral ligament. The popliteal bursa or Baker's cyst, also referred to as the gastrocnemio semimembranosus bursa. It is a prolongation of the synovial tendon sheath of the popliteus muscle outside the knee joint into the popliteal space. With the knee joint relaxed in a semi-flexed position and supported with both hands, use your fingertips to feel the popliteal fossa. Feel especially the posterior and superior aspects of the medial condyle of the femur. It is not normally palpable unless inflamed. The trochanteric bursa. There may be one or more. This bursa is situated adjacent to the femur between the insertion of the gluteus medius and gluteus minimus muscles into the greater trochanter of the femur and the femoral shaft. To make the location of the greater trochanter more prominent, ask the patient to rotate the hip along its long axis and with your hand placed flat over the lateral aspect of the hip. The psoas bursa. The iliopsoas bursa lies between the musculotendinous junction and the pelvic brim. This bursa is the largest in the body and may extend proximally into the iliac fossa or distally as far as the lesser trochanter. Communication between this bursa and the hip joint occurs in approximately 15% of all adults. The metatarsal phalangeal bursa of the big toe. This is located in the medial aspect of the first metatarsophalangeal joint. 
to identify the joint line, flex and extend the big toe. Palpate along the medial and superior aspect of the metatarsophalangeal joint and over the distal head of the first metatarsal.